In the last lecture, we introduced martingale. Let us recall the definition of martingale. Uh, a discrete time random process x n, n greater than equal to 0 is called a martingale process if for all n greater than equal to 0, E of mod of x n is less than infinity. So, that means, average value of the magnitude of x n should be finite. And second thing is conditional expectation of x n plus 1 given x 0 x 1 up to x n is equal to x n. Also, we define super martingale and sub martingale. In the case of a super martingale, this equality sign is replaced by less than equal to inequality. Similarly, in the case of sub martingale, this equality sign is replaced by greater than equal to inequality. So, that you note that last class we have just told that it is less than inequality, but it should be less than equal to inequality. Similarly, here also it is greater than equal to inequality. We also proved a very important property of martingale that a martingale has a constant mean that means, E of x n is equal to constant for all n. So, this is an important property that means, martingale process is stationary in mean. So, this property is used in deriving two important inequalities, other inequalities are also there, but we will not discuss those inequalities, but two basic inequalities we will discuss. Martingale inequalities, maximal inequality, if x n n greater than equal to 0 is a non-negative martingale, then probability of maximum of x n n greater than equal to 0 greater than equal to a is less than uh, equal to E of x 0 divided by a. So, uh, x n is a non-negative martingale that is important and probability of maximum of x n that x uh, that is greater than equal to a is bounded by E of x 0 divided by a. So, this is a statement of Markov inequality in the case of martingale process. Uh, here, you recall that Markov inequality says that if x n is a non-negative random variable and a is a number greater than e of x n, then the tail probability, probability that x n greater than equal to a is bounded by e of x n divided by a. So, that way we uh, get this result probability that x n greater than equal to a is bounded by e of x n divided by a for all n greater than equal to 0. Now, we know that e of x n is equal to e of x 0 that is martingale is a constant mean process. So, we can write that probability of x n greater than equal to a is less than equal to e of x naught divided by a. Now, this is true for all n greater than equal to 0. Therefore, it will be true for maximum of x n n greater than equal to 0. Therefore, we can write probability of maximum of x n n greater than equal to 0 greater than equal to a is bounded by e of x naught divided by a. So, this is known as the maximal inequality. Another uh, inequality is Kolmogorov inequality. Suppose x 0 is equal to 0. Clearly, E of x n is equal to 0, because x 0 is equal to 0, then E of x n is equal to 0. Therefore, E of x n square will be the variance. So, E of x n square is equal to sigma square is the variance. Sigma n square is the variance. Why? because x 0 is equal to 0 because of that E of x 0 is equal to 0 and E of x n is equal to 0 for all n. Then by applying Chebyshev inequality now, probability of mod of x n greater than equal to a is less than equal to 
Uh, now, sigma is here in this case e of x n square divided by a square for n is equal to 0, 1, etcetera. So, this uh, inequality is known as Kolmogoro inequality. Sometimes these inequalities are helpful in deriving some important bounds. So far, we discussed one step prediction. So, what we discussed that E of x n plus 1 given x 0 x 1 up to x n is equal to x n. This is the Martingale property. Now, let us see what happened to uh, m step prediction. Suppose, we want to predict beyond x of n plus 1. We have one important result. So, for a Martingale process x n expected value of x of n plus m given x 0 x 1 up to x n is equal to x n. For a Martingale process x n, so m step prediction is also equal to x n. So, to prove this, uh, let us uh, apply this theorem to uh, this important result here. So, left hand side will be expected value of E of x of n plus 1 given x 0 x 1 up to x n, then we introduce the term x n plus 1 up to x of n m plus 1. So, like that here, we are introdu introducing new terms given x 0 x 1 up to x n, because we are interested to find out this uh, quantity. Therefore, we are again taking the conditional expectation with respect to x 0 x 1 up to x n. This is same as uh, E of a, a x of n plus m minus 1 given x 0 x 1 uh, up to x n. So, left hand side, this is the quantity. So, we introduce additional uh, members here and now we introduce the Martingale property. So, if I have to predict this conditional expectation of x n plus m given x n plus m minus 1, then this will be same as x of n plus m minus 1 given x 0 x 1 up to x n. So, that way what we have shown that uh, this quantity conditional expectation of x of n plus m given x 0 x 1 up to x n is equal to conditional expectation of x of n m plus m minus 1 given x 0 x 1 up to x n. Again, we can introduce term up to suppose x of n plus 1, x of n plus 2, etcetera up to x of n plus m minus 2. Then we can so uh, apply this theorem and we can show that this expression is same as E of x of n plus m minus 2 given x 0 x 1 up to x n. Repeating in this manner, we can show that this is equal to ultimately it will come down to E of x n plus 1 given x 0 x 1 up to x n and that is equal to x n. So, that way we have proved the remarkable property that m step prediction for the uh, Martingale process is also equal to x n. And this result gives some additional important uh, properties of the uh, Martingale process that we will be discussing next. Uh, first, we will uh, prove that for a Martingale process E of x n into x of n plus m is equal to E of x n square. So, uh, now we use the uh, proper again property of con uh, conditional expectation that E of x given y is equal to E of x. So, this is the property, this property also we proved. Therefore, here we can write that this is the E of x n into x of n plus m is equal to expectation of the conditional expectation of x n into x of n plus m given x 0 x 1 up to x n. So, first we will take the conditional expectation, then since it will be a function of this quantities, we will take expectation again, then we will get the expectation of x n into x of n plus m. Now, this is a conditional expectation with respect to x n. Therefore, this term will result x n itself. Given x n, 
this expectation will be x n only. So, we will having only E of x of n plus m given x 0, x 1 up to x n. So, that way um, uh, what we will have now, um, now this quantity again I know that uh, this is equal to x n. Therefore, we will have uh, E of x n into x n that is equal to E of x n square. So, what we have is that uh, this is in fact autocorrelation function E of x n into x of n plus m is equal to E of x n square. So, this is one important property of the martingale, martingale process. Next property is a martingale x n is an orthogonal increment process. So, what is orthogonal uh, process? Suppose, first of all orthogonal random variable x n y are orthogonal x n y are orthogonal if E of x y is equal to 0. And now, Martingale is an orthogonal increment process. What does it say? That suppose we have some this is n 1, n 2, n 3, this is somewhere n 3, suppose this is somewhere n 4. What what we have is that this interval and this interval are non overlapping interval. And if we consider the increments in non overlapping interval that is x of n 2 minus x n 1 that is the increment x n 2 minus x n 1. And similarly, increment here is x n 4 minus x n 3. These, incre these intervals are non overlapping therefore, the expectation of the increments x of n 2 minus x n 1 into x of n 4 minus x n 3 that must be equal to 0. This also can be easily proved. Uh, now, how we can prove? We will use the earlier result uh, that is equal to suppose first I will multiply by x n 2 into x n 4 uh, similarly minus e of x n 2 into x of n 3. Now, uh, if I consider uh, this E of uh, x n 1 into x of n 4 plus E of x n 1 into e x of n 3. So, that way this we expand. Now, we know what is E of x n 1 into x of n 4 because here uh, n 4 is greater than n 2 therefore, it will be E of x n 2 square. Similarly, this quantity also will be E of x n 2 square. So, this and this will get cancelled. This quantity will be E of x n 1 square and this is plus E of uh, x n 1 square. So, what we will have is that this is equal to 0. So, what uh, uh, we have got is that a martingale process is an orthogonal increment process. Earlier, we discussed uh, independent increment process for example, Poisson process is an independent increment process, but a martingale process is an orthogonal increment process. Uh, we have another corollary this is also important for a martingale process x n E of x n square that is mean square value is a monotonically increasing sequence. So, E of x n square it is a deterministic quantity. Uh, now, sequence of E of x n square is a monotonically increasing uh, quantity. That means, E of x 0 square is less than equal to E of x 1 square is less than equal to E of x 2 square like that. So, to prove this uh, let us consider this quantity. What happened uh, the difference between E of uh, x of n plus 1 and x n. So, what we get uh, 0 is less than equal to E of x of n plus 1 minus x n whole square because whole square we are taking therefore, this is a positive quantity. So, 0 is less than equal to this. Uh, now, we if we expand it this will be E of x n plus 1 square E of x plus E of x n square minus twice E of x n into x of n plus 1. Now, uh, we will apply the property of the martingale that we have derived earlier that is E of x n into x of n plus 1 is equal to E of x n square. 
so that way e of x n plus 1 square plus e of x n square minus twice e of x n square. Now, this minus 2 and plus 1 will uh, will get minus e of x n square. So, what we have established that this quantity e of x n plus 1 square minus e of x n square is greater than equal to 0 because 0 is less than equal to here and this will imply that e of x n plus 1 square is greater than equal to e of x n square. Therefore, what it says that e of x n square is a monotonically increasing sequence. So, this is important that the mean square value of a martingale process is monotonically increasing with respect to n. So, mean square value of a a martingale process is monotonically increasing with respect to n. Uh, now, we will uh, come to the martingale convergence theorem, very important theorem. It is important in establishing many results in various areas of science and engineering. Let x n n greater than equal to 0 be a martingale and e of x n square is bounded. So, it is uh, less than equal to m, where m is less than infinity, m is less than infinity. For all n, then uh, x n converges in the mean square sense as n tends to infinity to a random variable x. So, x n converges in mean square sense to a random variable x. So, what we want to essentially we want to prove that uh, e of x n minus x whole square that converges to 0 as n tends to infinity as n tends to infinity. Uh, so, uh, to prove this we will use the Cauchy criterion for mean square convergence. So, what it says that if we can show that E of x n plus m minus x n whole square. So, if this quantity goes down to 0 as, as n tends to infinity and m greater than 0 for all m greater than 0 then uh, uh, this sequence x n will be mean square convergence. This is a if and only if criterion. So, here without knowing the random variable x we can prove that this sequence is convergent. This is the uh, Cauchy convergence criterion for mean square convergence. We will prove this e of x of n plus m minus x n whole square is equal to e of x of n plus m square plus e of x n square minus twice e of x n into x of n plus m and that is equal to e of x n plus m square plus e of x n square minus now this quantity is uh, e of x n square. So, that way we have e of x n x of n plus m square minus e of x n square. Now, each of this quantity is a uh, bounded quantity and monotonically increasing quantity because bounded because of this and we know that e of x n square is a uh, monotonically increasing sequence. Therefore, uh, both will converge to some limit and because of that now, this quantity will become 0 as n tends to infinity which implies that e of x n plus m minus x n whole square is equal to 0. Therefore, x n converges in mean square sense to some random variable x random variable x. So, this is a very powerful result. Uh, in fact, uh, it can be shown that a martingale bounded martingale sequence that is if uh, e of n square is bounded 
then a Martingale sequence converges not only in mean square sense, but it converges almost sure also. So, that means this x n converges almost sure to some random variable x, but uh, we will not prove this, but this is a very powerful result and therefore, if it is a Martingale sequence and e, e, e of x n square is bounded by m, then this Martingale sequence will converge in almost sure sense in mean square sense in probability sense to a random variable x. So, this is the Martingale convergence theorem. Let us summarize the lecture. A discrete time random process x n n greater than equal to 0 is called a Martingale process if for all n greater than equal to 0 e of mod of x n is finite and conditional expectation of x of n plus 1 given x 0 x 1 up to x n is equal to x n itself is the present value itself. And also we uh, remember that if we replace this equality by less than equal to inequality then x n is a super martingale and if it is replaced by greater than inequality greater than equal to inequality then x n will be a sub martingale. So, we also uh, define the super martingale and sub martingale and a martingale has a constant mean. So, that we uh, proved in the earlier class, but because of that uh, we could establish two important inequalities uh, that is uh, that maximal inequality inequality and Kolmogorov inequality. So, what does it say? Probability that x n if x n is a uh, non negative process probability of x n greater than equal to a is less than equal to e of x 0 divided by a. This is for all n therefore, uh, we uh, this is true for the maximum of this quantity. So, that way probability of maximum of x n over n greater than equal to 0 greater than equal to a is less than equal to e of x 0 divided by a. And the Kolmogorov inequality was for uh, Martingale with x 0 is equal to 0. So, uh, Kolmogorov inequality uh, inequality was for a uh, Martingale process with x 0 is equal to 0. And because of that uh, e of x n is equal to 0 for all n for all n and therefore, probability of mod of x n greater than equal to a. So, this probability is less than equal to e of x n square divided by a square. So, this is the Kolmogorov inequality. First, we derive the maximal inequality which is an extension of uh, Markov inequality and the Kolmogorov inequality is a special case of Chebyshev inequality. Uh, then uh, we established one important result uh, basically first we uh, considered the m step prediction. So, uh, this is another important result for a Martingale process x n e of x of n plus m given x 0 x 1 up to x n is equal to x n that is m step prediction is also equal to present value. So, this result uh, uh, resulted into uh, several important results first of all e of x n into x of n plus m for m greater than equal to 0 is equal to e of x n square. Then uh, we established the uh, that uh, Martingale is an orthogonal increment process that is for n 1 less than n 2 less than n 3 less than n 4 uh, e of x of n 2 minus x of n 1 that is the increment x of n 4 minus x n 3 that is another increment. So, joint expectation of this increments is equal to 0. 
so that way uh, uh, a martingale process is an orthogonal increment process. For a martingale process x n e of x n square is a monotonically increasing sequence. So, this uh, uh, using this result uh, we proved a very important result that is a martingale sequence for which e of x n square is less than equal to m less than infinity uh, then x n converges in mean square sense to a random variable x. So, a martingale sequence with mean square value bounded by some number m converges in m s sense to a random variable x. We also told that uh, this convergence uh, is also in the almost sure sense, but that we uh, did not prove it, but this is a very powerful result. Thank you.